What's going on guys and welcome to another video here on Shogun FC and it's a big one. Probably the best agent of the year, bar none. We're talking 100% black balls. Like, where has this been all year for me? Like, I've been struggling, getting dead players after dead players on stream and on YouTube. And it's it's been upsetting. I mean, I've been, I've been looking like a mug out here. Trying to get these big players while everyone else out me is out here getting Robin, getting messy. Like, do you know how long I was happy with Quagliarella for? Like, what? All oh, that's aside now, because we've got this big agent here. Challengers for the UCL UEL 16 17 season. I've already done one video on this. I'm going to leave a link to that right now in the top corner. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But um, this time now, we're just going to go straight in with the opening. We don't have to play for these. We're just going straight in. And uh, hopefully, we can get some big boy players. Let's go. Let's have some good players off the bat. We're guaranteed black balls. So, um, I'll pretty much be happy with almost everything. We want to try and get some molds as well. Um, I've released some of my loan players to make sure I get good ones. And um, unlikely to ever see him again in an Arsenal shirt. But we do have... Samir Nazari, who is actually, as much as it hurts me to say, a very, very good player on this game. Um, insane dribbler. And um, despite the fact that he's a bit of an arse, it's, that's a pretty good start to things, really. Samir Nazari, 85 rated, 90 dribbling, 86 low pass, 82 lofted pass. Um, and, you know, decent speed, good ball control as well. All in all... A solid, solid player and a hell of a lot of skills as well. So, um, someone that we could definitely use here. Um, it will be, be more of a squad player than a starter, but yeah, someone I'm very happy to have. So, yeah, Samir Nazri. Right then, second player and this one is another elite player. Who's this? I don't recognise that off the bat. Oh my god, we've got him! We've got Raphael Varane! Yes! I've wanted this guy for so long. He's the best centre half on the game, in my opinion, other than Ramos. Finally, we've got him. Yes! I can't explain how much I've wanted this guy. <laughs> right, Rafael Varan is the missing link in my centre back partnership. It's pretty much now an anti sweat defence. Like, the long ball's over the top. It's just not really going to work now because I've got this guy. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Rafael Buran, get in, son. Right then, next up. Come on then, what can we get? Can we make it three in a row? It's a small spin. He's going to roll, he's going to roll. It is another elite player. Is this Sanya again? <laughs> We've got Sanya. I had him before and released him. We've got him again. Back of Isanya. I'm not too not too upset with that, to be honest. He's a good player. Um, it would be good for getting me some GP. Maybe providing some cover. But back of Isanya, welcome, mate. <laughs> yeah, number four. And this is going to be just a standard black ball player. There's still be someone quite good. It is. It's Ander Herrera. He's not bad, to be fair. Uh, not amazing, he's not really going to get in the squad, but he's, he's not bad. Come on then, let's see what we get. He's going to roll, it's not. Who's this? Blasikovsky? I didn't know he was in the game. Of course, he doesn't play for Dortmund anymore, he's gone to Fiorentina. I didn't know he was in the game. Good player. Um, he's got a weird card, he's got the whole player card, which I don't think he can use in those in his main positions. <laughs> but uh, someone who's incredibly quick. And uh, it's got the captaincy trait as well, that's good. Okay. Decent player, decent player. Right then, I think this is like number six, I think. So uh, can we get another elite player? Let's have a look. Is he going to roll it? He's not. Who's this? Okay, Borja Valero. Someone that um, I'm quite fond of. I bought him on an old football manager game and he was just absolutely incredible. Um, not as good anymore. But uh, he's getting on a bit, but still a very, very decent player. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to have him. Right, ball number seven. What's this going to be? 
Come on, it's got a roll. No, it's not a roller. Okay, but uh, who is it? We've managed to pick ourselves up David Santon, who is probably the worst player we're going to get today. 80 rated and um, at 24 hasn't really become the player people once thought he probably could become. Um, but yeah, not a great player in all honesty. And um, once this agent's over, he'll probably become a trainer. Right, number eight, what we're going to get. Come on, come on. Another ball roll, please, please, please. No, no ball roll. But we do manage to get Adam Liadic, I think. I've said that right, I've probably butchered that. Another 80 rated player, so not great. But um, still decent. Better than Santon, definitely. And um, surprisingly good dribbler for... I thought, considering he was rated 80, that uh, they'd have nerfed his dribbling. But he's still got it. I'm going to have a look at his stats, actually. Um, so it is really just the dribbling and the ball control and the, uh, the explosive power that he's got. Other things are pretty close to 80, but not quite there. Um, yeah, they've nerfed his low passing a bit. Um, decent on both feet. And uh, to be fair, those player skills make up for a lack of general ability. So um, I'm quite happy with that. But uh, yeah, good player, Ljajic. Right then, number nine. Let's uh, hope we get someone good again in this one. It's been, it's been pretty decent so far. Um, we need some more elite players, I reckon. Can this one be one? Is it going to roll? It's not. What have we got here? Oh my god, Jordan Henderson. Okay, I, I changed my mind. Jordan Henderson's probably the worst player we're going to get today. Uh, yeah, bye. Right then, let's see who we get in this one. The uh, the tenth ball spin. It's got to be better than Henderson. It can't really get much worse. Is he going to roll it? No. No ball roll there. And uh, we get Jonathan Biabiani, who's someone I've had before. Again, very quick, but... Other than that, not particularly great. Right then, 11 is my lucky number. Can it be lucky this time? It's a small spin, but it could be a big player. Can we get a ball roll, please? No, we can't. And, uh... Yeah, they really are just out to prove me wrong and give me worse and worse players each time. Roberto Soldado really, really isn't going to cut the mustard here. I was hoping to end it on um, Soldado, well, on the 11th one, but I'm not going to finish a video on Soldado. I refuse, quite frankly. Um, come on, this one's got to be better. Number 12, can we get a ball roll? No, we can't. Just give me another 80 rated player. 81, okay, not as bad. Janska, but... Um, eh. Right then, I've got enough GP for about three more spins. Um, so hopefully we get someone good. If we get someone phenomenal, I'll probably end it there and save the GP for a very interesting video that I've got coming up soon with a really, really good YouTuber. But who are we going to get this time? Not anyone particularly special. We get Roberto Firmino. Um, probably one of the better 80 rated players and he'll definitely get an upgrade next year. Um, and to be fair... I'm going to use him for another video that I've got planned. I've got some pretty good videos planned for you guys, so stay tuned on the channel. If you're new around here, subscribe because it's about to get really, really good here pretty soon. Um, Roberto Firmino, decent dribbler, um, relatively quick, decent finisher as well. Um, they haven't really done much in terms of his passing stats. He's a bit better than what they've given him. But um, yeah, I can use him. Right then, who's this? Is this going to be a ball roll? It's not. And uh, we've got ourselves Toby Alderweireld, who I just I just don't want him, quite frankly. There's no room for him in the squad. Oh, well. Right then. Last player of the day. It started off really well. It's tailed off a bit towards the end. But uh, how do you beat Rafael Varane, really, in this team? Who knows? But uh, let's see if we can try it. Come on then, who are we going to get? It's a left-footed player, Adidas Boots, strikes it. It's an elite player, who have we got? I can't tell who this is, by face. Oh, okay. We managed to get Hammers Rodriguez. What a player. Oh my God. Yes. Bang. I've got him in Master League, and uh, he's one hell of a player. Wow. 
I'm really happy with that. I didn't think it was gonna. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's that's absolutely brilliant. Um, Hammers Rodriguez, welcome to the club, my friend. Look at all of those player skills. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What a way to end the video, I guess. Damn. Well then, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We've got some really, really good players. The two Real Madrid boys obviously standing out there. Hammers Rodriguez and um, Rafael Varane. I'm really hyped up. I can't wait to get into a game with some of these guys. But um, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of the players I've got. Let me know who you got in this agent as well. Obviously a lot of good players and some dodgy ones as well. But um, until next time, take care. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel. We've got some really, really exciting content coming up soon. I've got another video with Roy um, where we, uh, we actually play on the same team for once. Did a bit of co-op and uh, that was quite interesting. So you won't want to miss that. Um, one hell of a game. Um, also, I've got some other um, solo videos coming out. I'm going to be collaborating with a very, very good YouTuber. Um, who some of you will know, you won't know that I'm doing this video but you'll have heard of this guy but I'm not going to spoil it until the video goes live but um, I've been talking to him today, we've confirmed we're going to do it so um, it'll be something definitely worth looking forward to but um, to get all of that subscribe, follow me on Twitter as well you'll see all the links at the end of the video and in the description um, also follow me over on Twitch, I haven't had the opportunity so far to say it but I want to say a big thanks to all the guys who've been supporting me on Twitch. I've been recently getting into the streaming as, you know, early on in the season I was kind of staying away from it thinking I didn't think it was going to be for me. Um, but uh, Graham from PezFan, he really talked me into it. And uh, the big boy Seppo has really, really been supportive. Um, obviously leading the way for us in terms of Pez streamers on Twitch and uh, it's kind of taken me under his wing a little bit um, he hosts my streams he uh, he got me involved he shouts me out and um, yeah just a really big thank you to you obviously a big thank you to other guys as well like the Midnight Kid who helped me out on my first stream gave me some great prizes to give away um, as has Graham thanks to uh, Bardinsky who's been a great friend and just really supporting me um, in terms of what I do in terms of videos and streams um, shout out to the guys over at Pez World Glenn, big shout out to you bro um, your support, it's always noticed um, you know, even I don't even have to ask and you know, you always show love so I really appreciate that but um, yeah, until next time uh, take care and um, peace